A recent migration trends report has found that India has now overtaken China as the biggest single source of permanent migrants to Australia. That means India's influence will continue to affect Australian culture. But it's nothing new. The two nations have a long history of working together. Thank God for the helmet. Cricket, Bollywood. And a good curry. When we think of India's influence in Australia, these can come quickly to mind. And for chef and restaurateur Vikrant Kapoor, food has helped shape his Australian experience. So most people come here with friends or with corporate people, come and sit over a meal and chat, and it's very easy to then communicate with them and I go and meet them and they talk to you and it's very easy to say, oh, you're from India and this is where you are from and which part of India you're from, and that does really help with us. Now a citizen, he migrated here in 1998. I've always heard about the lifestyle in Australia where I lived in India. So it had been a dream when I was studying catering, that one fine day I would at least come to work in Australia. India is now the biggest single source of permanent migrants to Australia. More than 29,000 arrived in 2011-2012. It was three Indians versus 80 Australians. Despite high-profile racist attacks several years ago, Indians still make up our second largest group of international students behind China. The latest official figures show there are more than 37,000 studying here. An exhibition at the National Maritime Museum shows India's influence, migration and trade goes back a long way. Take for instance this piece. It may look like a rock, but it's actually coal from Newcastle, bound for India in 1803. A shipwreck meant it never made it, but we still export coal to India today, part of the more than $13 billion of our goods that head there. In the 19th century, the boats were British, run mostly by the East India Company, but many of the workers were Indian sailors known as Laskars. Now, there must have been literally hundreds of uh, these Laskar sailors in Sydney at any one time, uh, and yet you know, they're overlooked. We have one example of a document in the exhibition space which, um, if they take an enemy ship, it uh, outlines what each person will get. Well, within that document there are 35 Laskar seamen named, and um, this is about as much as we get of, of, of seeing them. These days, around 450,000 people of Indian descent are living in Australia. A short film documents the changing face of migration. There are Indian Australians who are gay. There are Indian Australians who are from the IT industry. There are Indian Australians who are doctors. They range uh, from anyone to everyone. And they are happily you know, moving ahead and carrying the Indian Australian Flag. Lauren Pedersen, World News Australia.